I'm going to make three points in a very quick succession. You guys talk about it if you choose to. Okay? Number one, O'Malley did very well, but I swear to God, he was singing his opening statement in his head. He had cadence, he had tone, he had rhythm. He was singing that in his head so he remembered. I'm just pointing that out. Another thing about O'Malley is there's a point where uh, Chafee is talking about Hillary's email and the Gazi stuff, and if you're watching it, O'Malley's like straight up, like staring at him, like full body, straight staring at him. And I laughed because it almost looked like he was trying to intimidate him. Yeah, yeah. You know, he's just like, what? Um, what did you say? And, uh, and then there's Webb. Webb was very much a military hawk, and I don't, I don't know if you've heard it or not. Mm -hmm. I, I haven't avoided hearing anything about the debate until this moment. Okay. One of the things, one of the questions Anderson Cooper asked was, "Who, who is your favorite enemy? Like, who are you happy to choose?" Yeah. <laughs> Out with, well, you could ask the guy that lobbed a grenade at me in Vietnam, but he's not around to ask. No, I ain't. <laughs> and, and, I, and I understood it as a Marine. Oh, yeah. As an Marine. <laughs> yes, he understand that smirk and, like, yeah. 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 You know, but on the debate stage, like, everybody else was just like, okay. <laughs> it was real quick moving on. Yeah. Like, Why did you change it? Just start like that. How do you even compete with that? Yeah, I you mean, like, for everybody else standing up there, they're like, "Well, I think I, th I pissed my neighbor off once." <laughs> I think Webb went last. I think Webb went last. But they, they, they did move on quickly. Yeah, well, yeah, they did very extremely quickly. Quick. Quick. Because yeah. how do you? I was. I. I, 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 I <laughs> Hold on the chain and be like, don't don't let it go. Absolutely. Let me send way back. Oh, whoops. oh that's messed up. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I agree. No, and, um, and I just want to say real quick, I'm, we're not making fun of Webb for what he said. Like, no, no, it's, that's a hardcore thing to say. Yeah. Like, that's legit. Like, we like we just question that. I can't say the timing. Yeah, it was the timing on a debate stage. Yeah, <laughs> where everyone else is coming out with like other political rivals, and we'll come out with the guy who about the grenade. It's like yeah, the level is like, like everybody, everybody else. Is the Iranians, the Republicans, yeah. like the guy trying to kill you. Know, yeah, it's like so, yeah. Set, Sanders said it was. Uh, he almost went to climate change, but it was. Uh, incoming inequality, I think yeah. it, it was something to that effect, and it was something else. And he's just like that guy. Yeah, that was gonna be pretty hard to tell a guy after yeah. you get wounded by his grenade. Yeah, like yeah. Again, but, we're not hitting on your web. It was just no. Just I, I, I I respect. Yes. I, oh, I absolutely respect the man for taking care of business, and obviously he's you know not a coward. He'll stand up and do what needs to be done. He needs to be secretary of uh, defense. Absolutely. absolutely. I think if we put him in the White House. <laughs> It's gonna be like McCain, mm -hmm. like, like when McCain after he's you know after yeah. he left Obama, he went ancient. We could send a plane or a troop somewhere. He was all about that shit, and it kind of tells you what where he could be. Yeah. It scares me now, see, because I actually was yeah. I would have voted for McCain over Obama. I'm honest with you. Because I thought he had more criteria, he had more history, and since he had been a POW, I figured he would know that war is a horrible thing and he tried to stay away from it. Apparently, he is still upset about what happened to him, and he wants war. And I didn't know he was that upset. Inside. And that's why I knew not to vote for McCain, because I was in the military and I heard so many people telling me, hey, well, 2000, it was 2008, mm -hmm. so I wasn't in the military, correction. I was right when I was going in, because um, I, I was doing the whole process in 2008 and 2009. Um, but I knew where he stood, and I was so heavily involved, like I am now, with the uh, the whole scheme of politics. And I listened to him, and I was like, okay, he knows what he's talking about on politics. He's good. He's a prisoner of war, so he knows not to go there automatically. But what made me say no for him was when I went into his background and look at some of the things that his, uh, what some of the other people in Congress have said about him. It was like, 
I can't vote for him. Literally. Because it was, he was a part of that whole bomb, bomb, bomb around thing. Literally, yeah. And it was just bom, like, bom, 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 bom. Yeah. and it was just like, are you serious? I can't vote for someone like that. I don't want to go to war. I'm in the process of going into the military. I do not want to go to war. I do not want to be killed. Because someone was just like so gung ho that we're now in, in a war. Unfortunately, you know, we were already in a war, but that would have expanded the scope and we would have not only been fighting Afghanistan and Iraq, but also Iran. And that would have been just too much. Did you have issues with going to war? Say what? You're joining the military, but you have issues with going to war. A absolutely. Um, senseless random wars. There's a difference between yeah, a yeah. legit war and half the wars we're in now, which are over political reasons. When I went into the military, I would have been fine if we were going into, you know, Iraq looking for the people who caused 9 11. But we went into Afghanistan, and that's not where we should have been. Okay. Flip that. Flip that. Yeah. Flip it? Yes, I think I said it was supposed to be. Flip it then. My bad. I misspoke. Yeah. Yeah. I, I didn't know if I heard him right either, but I wasn't sure. Flip it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Flip it. My bad. Um, we went to Iraq. I know. Should have went into Iraq and messed with Saddam. Yeah. We went into Iraq because Bush wanted to finish what his father started. My bad. I'm, I misspoke. I'm sorry. 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 i at the five week mark, we walk into the barracks and she's sitting on the bed and she's crying hysterically and we're like, what's wrong? And she's like, I just found out we're at war. I don't want to go to war. I joined the military 2002, September, not, no. What branch? Army. Army, okay. So, you know, I was ready. 9-11 happened and I joined the military. And we were like, haven't you heard? The, you know, the war on terrorism? And she's like, yeah, I just, I thought it was like the war on drugs. Um, but, uh, was but, with this woman, and I'm gonna trust her. Yeah. And, 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 and be in a fossil with her. But no, I do want to get back to the main point, though. I do want to get back to the, the debate real quick. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to cut you off. No, it, it's all right, it's all right. But I do want to get back to, yeah, we're off the, I do want to close up this debate topic, though, like, uh, uh, Brandon, uh, your last comments on the debate, what, what do you think? Last comments on the debate, Sanders won. <laughs> Sanders won. Hillary uh, did well on her likability. She did well on closing down a couple of her scandals. Okay. Um, O'Malley did well in public. He was still very robotic and you know, clunky. Webb was way too aggressive, and Chafee, I didn't even know he was on stage. I could care less about it. Oh. Uh, that back, I could not care less about it. <laughs> uh, uh, Serena, just want, from what you've heard so far, what, are you excited to see the debate? Or are you, are you I, I, I really am. Um, I have never watched debates and you know follow these kind of things until I got with Brandon and. My first first six months with him was, you know, this is when this stuff started back in 2012. And I did find myself, you know, getting mad and I'd scream at the TV. And, you know, there was also times that I would hear the other side and go, and I'm okay, worried. yeah, you know, I can understand that. So, Things that I've seen two of these Republican debates so far, and it's been nothing but, you know, hate mentoring and bashing on each other. It would be nice to sit down and watch something that's, you know, policy. Um, so I'm looking forward to hearing that. And, and it is really good. I, I feel like it would be refreshing, mm -hmm. you know, to see policy instead of... Just bickering. Just stupid. Yeah. You know. yeah. No, and I do think they're going to get a bit more in depth in policy. I think there's a lot of plans that they're putting out now that they're going to elaborate more on. But they definitely give the basis for most, most of their plans. So if you're looking for some good policy, they definitely have that in the debate. And I would recommend if you're not looking at the East, if you're not here for the East say she say, if you're trying to look for some facts, check out the Democratic debate. Like Absolutely. really check it out. Absolutely. Um, for me, my final results is one. Check it out if you're looking for facts. Two, um, Bernie Sanders. 
he did a great job. I'd like to see more from him. Um, I, I just want to see more depth. I've heard most of his policy positions already. Yeah. I, I want to see more from it. And uh, as far as Hillary, I, I don't really think she'll be a good candidate. So it's tough for me to agree with what she says. But I do agree that she was more personable after the debate, to some extent, to some extent. Um, and I feel Chafee is getting a bad rap. Um, the poor guy has never been in the public limelight before. That's like throwing a deer in front of the headlights. They're gonna freaking freeze up. Cooper asked him. What's that? What I've been feeling up like that. What? What? Again, I'm not listening. Bro. Right. 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 Again, I'm not listening to Brandon because he's angry at Chafee for some reason. Wait, 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 wait. But but Sandwich has been in the limelight. He's been in the limelight, but he hasn't been on this on that scale. Not on that scale. But Bernie Sanders has been so comfortable inside his own skin for so many years, nobody and nothing could make him uncomfortable. If you look at some of his previous debates with oh, his yeah, younger, yeah. which I highly recommend yeah. you do, the fervor and the energy that he shows now, 50 years yeah. later, is yeah, the same no, fervor it, he showed back in the day. I, I've gone to see Spain. Yeah, I've seen some of his, it, uh, his it's when, he, when he speaks, and it's. Yeah. He hasn't really changed. He's just expanded yeah. on those ideals. And uh, you know he believes. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. He yeah. believes in whole world. Yeah. He's honest with you about. Yeah. Um. Okay, I'll bring up the poll numbers. Aaron really wants me to bring up the poll numbers. Okay, the poll numbers. Uh, they baffled me. So it's like. <laughs> <laughs> so okay, in my closing statement, I, for me, O'Malley was not a third. I'm sorry. Yeah, when, I, it, when, it, when it came to it, it was Bernie, it was Hillary, it was the Democratic Party, it was those other guys. The Democratic Party's not running. Well, no, I, I'm just saying, in the terms of who won, you know, the Democratic Party won because we have some really good people running for presidency. The other three guys, they need to prep more. And maybe then I'll say, okay, he has some really good stuff. But O'Malley for me was just, here's what I did in Maryland. <laughs> but it was like, you are in, you, you run Baltimore, bruh. Yeah. Like, it's crazy. You fix Baltimore, and then we can talk about how amazing you are. He had a really good point about Baltimore, though. He said, look, you know, yes, I rebuilt my city, but I didn't make it immune to setbacks. And and that is the truth. Like he's not controlling the people. He's not. You know. So I I that's expect a very that. political. I'm not even political. That was a very emotional situation in Baltimore. I agree, but I expect more from most politicians. That's yeah. why I don't give them a pass. Is because especially on the state and local level, when you can go out and touch the people, you can go out and speak directly with the people, exactly. creating and crafting what you're doing, and it still ends up broken. You did something wrong. Okay, um, so, but yeah, for the poll numbers, for the poll numbers, poll let, numbers. let me start with Fox News, because this was incredible. Uh, the, run, one, run. the one that I have right now for Fox News says that 78.99% of the votes, which broken down into how many people or how many votes was 42,015 votes for Bernie Sanders winning the, the, the debate. Hillary Clinton comes in at second with 14.6% of the votes, which is a total of 7,764 oh, votes. Oh, what was number? 78%. 78.99, 70, so 79%. 79. 79%. With 42. Was Hillary 14? Yeah, exactly. On Fox. On Fox. Now so that's this one on Fox. Yeah, exactly. By a and man. that's not the only one. So on CNN's own poll, Bernie won with 75%. Hillary came in at 18%. Uh, let's go to time, where Bernie came in at 74%. Hillary came in at 17%. Um, <laughs> it, it continues to go on this way. All of them, Bernie Sanders on another poll, 67%. Hillary at 12%. All of them. He eclipsed absolutely everybody yeah, in the me. nation, in the polls on that one. Now, here was my prediction at the end of the debate. 
JV drops before the end of the month. Oh, Sanders okay. tops Clinton's for a week or two. Webb and O'Malley battle until next debate. That's and that's on my Twitter. I actually think that that's how it's going to end up. I would agree with. At least till the next debate. I would agree with him, especially when you look at Chafee's interview with Fox News right after the debate. He seemed just as weak, just as pathetic, just as sad in that interview than he did on the debate. Look at me, Mary. Oh no, my poor Chafee, man. No, it's all they, good. They were asking Chafee. Chafee. I feel you wrong. They were asking Chafee. It was it was Sean Hannity. So I I give him props for going on Sean Hannity. But <laughs> but. Sean Hannity asked him about his own policy, and he didn't have all the numbers and all the facts about his own policy. So that just seemed weak and sad and pathetic to me. How are you going to half-ass run for president? 